Hi, I'm Stu from HiveMind Automation and welcome to The Hive. In this video, we're going to take a look at these IKEA trad-free light globes. We'll look at running them standalone using the steering devices. We'll also take a look at using the trad-free bridge to set up the iPhone app and also integrate these IKEA lights into Home Assistant. So let's get started. IKEA Trad Free has been around for a while and the pricing is pretty good. These E14 and E27 RGB and CCT globes are normally around $29.95 a unit. But if you have an IKEA family membership, you can get them at the moment for $25. They're not super bright at 600 lumens, but I think they're perfect for a lamp and that's where I'll be using these. These uh, GU10 globes are 400 lumen and only do cool to warm white without RGB and they're priced at about $19.95 each. One problem with IKEA Trad Free is that you do need to have a steering device to control them, like this one, which costs another $19 with a family membership or $25 without. In a future video, I'll take a look at pairing one of these remotes with a non-IKEA Zigbee bridge in order to trigger automations within Home Assistant. Theoretically, you could also pair the bulb using a non-IKEA Zigbee bridge, but I'm yet to try doing so, and I might take a look at that in a future video also. IKEA do have some starter kits to set up multiple lights, and they often include a steering device, and some even include the Trad Free bridge as well to use the app control or even integrate into Home Assistant. Another problem is that Trad Free globes aren't available in all globe types. They pretty much come in Edison screw E27, uh, in E14, the smaller Edison screw, uh, and also GU10. In the US and Europe, the IKEA Trad Free range also includes smart plugs. However, I'm yet to see those materialize here in Australia. One thing that has come to Australia are the roller blinds that can be controlled via the Trad Free ecosystem, and I'm hoping to take a look at those in the not too distant future as well. I also picked up this Trad Free bridge in the US at the same time as my first globes. This Trad Free bridge is a Zigbee protocol bridge that connects using your ethernet to your network, and it's powered with micro USB B, which is perfect in my setup because I've got this splitter to split power over Ethernet to micro USB and regular Ethernet. It's also perfect because it means that they're not country locked because they just take micro USB. It doesn't matter where you buy it from so long as you have a USB adapter for your country. So let's take one of these uh, E14 bulbs out of the box and we'll get that set up. Uh, so we slide this out of the box. Uh, we've got some instructions and the bulb itself. Now I'm going to pop the bulb into this little lamp that I have here and what we're going to do is we're going to grab this steering device which I've taken out of the box and I've put the CR2032 battery in and there's a little button on the back here that I'm going to need to hold in so what I'm going to do is turn the lamp on and I'm going to hold this button in for about 10 seconds and we see that it's just dimmed and it's just flashed. So now it should be paired to this switch. So if I press the button, it dims down to off and we can turn it back on again. And we've got up and down buttons to dim the brightness or 
turn the brightness back up and the left and right buttons change the color of the light. So now that that's done, let's take a look at the app. Now the IKEA Home Smart app does require the Trad Free Bridge and you'll see here that it is telling me to plug in the gateway and connect it to the Wi-Fi router with the provided ethernet cable and I'll hit next and it's trying to find my gateway. Okay, so it is tr struggling to find my gateway. Why is that? Okay, so for whatever reason, it's having trouble finding it automatically. So I'm going to hit all lights are on and enter the gateway IP manually. So I'm going to type in 192.168.1.1. And connect. So now I need to scan the code on the back of the gateway. So I'll hit scan and allow access to the camera and found the code and it's connected. So now let's connect devices. So it's finding devices. Yes, I'll agree. Okay. And it's found two light bulbs and a smart remote and we'll just put that in the dining room for now. And those are accessories that I've paired previously. So we'll go done and we can set scenes and etc. So it's updated to the latest version. We can uh, see here that we've got stuff that we can do here. We can turn stuff off and on and that lamp behind me is also an IKEA trad free globe. So what I'm going to do is pair this remote to the Trad Free Gateway. So I'm going to tap on the cog in the top right corner. We'll click on lighting and we'll click on the plus down here. We'll scroll down to remote control. We've already opened the back of the remote. We'll click next. We'll reset the remote control by pressing it four times. So we'll go one, two, three, four. And we've had a little red light inside flash. And after that stops flashing, we'll wait 10 seconds. We'll click next. We now to need to hold the remote control within two centimeters of the gateway and press the button on the back of the remote control until the white LED on the gateway quickly flashes four times. And we should get confirmation in the app when that's happened. So we'll hold that right there and we'll hold the pairing button. And we've seen that we've got the light has flashed and it says device found and it's waiting a moment for confirmation. So perfect, the remote control is now connected to IKEA Home Smart and we should see that we've got that, we'll name it lamp remote, done. Okay, so now that we've got that remote added, we can hit the plus button and we can add this bulb. So I'll add a bulb, we'll click next, we'll select the remote control, next, and we're going to hold this remote right next to the bulb and hold the pairing button for 10 seconds. So we should then get the light source dimming and brightening. And we want to keep the button pressed until the pulsing stops. And we've got device found. And the pulsing's just stopped as well. Perfect, bulb is now connected to IKEA Home Smart, so we can hit OK. And now we'll see that we've got this bulb three and we can rename it to lamp. And we'll tick that box. So we will now go back out to the main menu and we've got this room three. We've got the lamp here and I can tap the button and turn the light off, turn it on and change the color using the app. Awesome, so now that the app's configured and the light is controllable using the bridge, we can now integrate the bridge into Home Assistant and it's really, really easy. So we'll pop over to Home Assistant. We'll go to configuration, 
integrations. And now what we should see is that the IKEA trad free is discovered. And if it's not, we can just hit add integration and we can search for IKEA and select the trad free integration. Now, what we need to do is enter the host name and you'll remember that we had the IP address. So that was 192.168.1.83, if I remember correctly. Yes, it was 83. We also need to enter the security code, which is on the back of the bridge. So I'm just gonna pop the bridge over here and I'm going to type in, okay, and we've typed that in and we'll hit submit. Great, so we've now got details of those lamps that we have added. So we've got the lamp remote, the trad free remote control, which is actually the original remote that I've got for this. We've got the spotlight, which is the lamp behind me here. Uh, we've got the lamp, which is this one here, this new one that we set up, the gateway and the orb, which is actually um, this light bulb here, which uh, has been offline for a while because the lamp that it was in broke, um, but I'll be retooling that shortly um, to put that back into commission. In fact, after I've set up all of these bulbs, um, I'll be replacing all of the lamps in that lamp over there. So we can select areas for all of these um, and I'll just leave that for now. We can change that later and I, I will change the gateway area though because the gateway lives in the office. So we'll hit finish. And IKEA trad free is now set up. So if we go back to the overview, we should be able to scroll through here and we should find light. So here we go. So we've got the spotlight, which is behind me and I can turn that off and on and I can click in here and change the color or the brightness, which is fantastic. And we've also got this lamp here. So again, we can turn that off and on and change the color or the brightness, all from our Home Assistant configuration. So that's the IKEA trad free light bulbs. I'm really happy with these light bulbs. The RGB color is good and the Home Assistant integration is super simple. There's no lighting effects available on the bulbs, which is one thing I particularly like about this Mirabella Genio light after I flashed it to Tasmoda. Um, and I'll be doing a comparison between some of the lower cost LED light bulbs and smart bulbs in a future video. I do hope that this video has helped you on your home automation journey. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, consider hitting the subscribe button along with the bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos. Lastly, if you want to help support the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link in the video description below. All contributions through Buy Me A Coffee get put back into making more and better content for you to enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.